in the next 10 minutes, about 400 people that are currently alive will be dead of an infectious disease. And we're all here because we believe that recent scientific discoveries and recent technology advances as it relates to genomics and machine learning will allow us to radically shift this current grim picture. So this is a very important inflection point in the history of Carius. After a few years of hard technology development, product development, taking all of that through regulatory approvals and building a small but powerful commercial team, we are finally at the stage where we're making impact on patients' lives at scale. The company is moving to a phase where the evidence of just how useful this approach can be for physicians and for the patients they treat, it's really becoming very clear through these studies and it's exciting and, and even humbling to be able to be the one who shares some of that with the community. This 2018 meeting is at the crux of both reinvigorating the field of infectious disease as well as helping push the envelope for new diagnostics and new ways of treating patients. We are presenting seven abstracts here at ID Week, three of which have been selected for oral presentations. We were able to demonstrate that this test can provide positive results for invasive fungal mm -hmm. infection in high-risk patients, potentially avoiding biopsy in some of these patients. Having that diagnosis right away to direct your therapy makes a huge difference. It's all about time because cultures at best may grow in 24 to 48 hours but may take up to eight weeks before you get a result. So without the carious test we wouldn't have known what our patient had. All of the uh, sort of standard cultures and PCRs that you would do were all negative. We were uh, kind of left scratching our heads. We did send the carious at that point and it came back with Balamuthia mandrillaris, which is a known cause of granulomatous amoebic encephalitis. Carious testing really was a uh, big help in this case. I think the carious is really opening up the door for those unexpected pathogens that we're not thinking about. The main areas where I've been utilizing has been in pneumonias, ICU cases, and as well as our cardiovascular infections, mainly our native and prosthetic valve endocarditis that are obviously culture negative. This new technology is going to revolutionize how we uh, practice infectious disease. It's already starting to do so. And we're all committed to taking an active part in shaping and inventing this future. We all know this impact and this future is not a century out and not a decade out, but it's happening now.